The first round of the state softball high school tournament started the day down in Mankato. Time on a tradition. The hometown team hoping to take home back-to-back -back state championships. Mankato East took on North Branch in the AAA quarterfinals. Senior Haley Paitzel strikes first a two-run home run. East took off from there, winning 16-2. Muriel Mose was there to capture the excitement of this unique tournament. She's been uh, playing softball since a little pepper. T-ball, you know, it's been great following up. You know, now fitting to end her career at the state tournament here in town. Kyle Patzel is the only one on his feet in the bleachers, a proud dad of his Mankato East senior Haley Patzel, who hit the team's first home run of the state tournament. He feels lucky the biggest stage for softball is right in his backyard. Having it here, you know, they sleep in their own bed, but to see all the other teams, you know, their club teams, friends come to town, um, it's fun, you know, it means a lot. The softball state tournament has been held here at Caswell Park in North Mankato for 30 years now, and it's become one of the city's most prized weekends. It is a huge boost to our economy. Um, over the three days that the tournament's held. The location isn't the only thing that makes this tournament unique. The energy level of the spectators is next level. Go Proven by the dads of the Randolph softball team who show their spirit proudly with Hawaiian shirts and decorated straw hats in the school colors. This is the only time we wear them is when we get to the state tournament. They love the small town atmosphere of this tournament. Everybody shows up and as you just support your team, and you have a lot of fun. In North Mankato, Mary Elmo's WCCO Sports.